plug in the Bluetooth adapter into the OBD2 port. Now that we have plugged in the Bluetooth adapter, we're going to pair with it. And this is an Android phone. You go to settings, you go to Bluetooth, and turn it on. And search for devices. If you do not see your device in here, unplug it from the OBD2 port and plug it in again and search. Here, OBD2. Enter a pin, try one, two, three, four, or four zeros. We're gonna try one, two, three, four. And there we're paired. Now what you need to do is download a, a scan, an app that will um, connect and show you the fault codes. In our case, we're gonna use the Torque app. And see that right there, the icon shows that it has connected to the Bluetooth device. And then when you see the car, we are connected to the engine ECU. Down here, you can see the RPMs which matches with the RPMs down there um, it also has locked the GPS coordinates um, you can see yourself in the map and just first look at the fault codes click on that and tap here to scan So here it says powertrain transmission control system electrical. It says the current fault. We're still going to try to erase it. Click on the menu right here. Click on clear faults on ECU. You can read all of that. And it says basically that you should only perform the clearing of the fault codes if you have fixed the problem. All right. right now clearing the fault memory of the ECU and it's done let's go back really quick and look at some stream some live information so here you can see and you can actually add more of these gauges but this is kind of Here, this is important because it shows emission readiness. So if you have to take your car for an emission inspection, uh, what you need to do is make sure that you have all these as complete. Um, some states might allow only one of these incomplete, but for the most part, like this car will actually fail. It has one, two, three, four, five. And what you need to do is keep on driving the car until more, more of these systems are complete. Um, and check with your states how many they might allow and complete. Some of them, like the O2 sensors, might take a little while, it might take several driving cycles to change to complete. That's it. That's how you can use the Bluetooth adap adapter to um, reset the check engine light. Thanks for watching.